What do trees and dogs have in common? Bark. <laughs> Stupid. What does the forest and sweaters have in common? Wolf. <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> Tell me that ain't funny. What do you do? What are you doing right here? See, this is why I always have tons of fur on me. You guys hate on me for that, but... That just means I'm loved and my pets are loved. You know what I'm saying? Lion just saves me. So this is the tripod I usually use to vlog with you guys, random fact. And I lost it one time. And I tried to find it again on Amazon and they didn't have it. This is actually, you wouldn't believe how long I've had this. For over six years. Hasn't broke. Still does me good. Yep. So right now, Feline is putting plants, these plants. I actually showed these to you in my last vlog, this one. Um, in an actual pot because it needs it. These are awesome because all you have to do is put the water in here. It's pretty neat. So you take one of these and you like clip it like that so you pour the water and it just runs in like so they also had black ones oh, that one's too big there we go look how cute so this is our little water watering jug watering jug yes that's what it's called, right? <laughs> I actually don't know. Oop. That's all you do? Watering can? Yeah. We also got that from Amazon, of course. Now we are putting a nourishing stick in there. And this guy gets one too. This is what it looks like. So it just releases uh, nourishment to the plants over the course of a few months. There it is, folks. So I want to show you guys something that I recently discovered that I absolutely love. Popeye's biscuit? Feline says it looks like a Popeye's biscuit, and I'm not going to lie, it does. KFC it's a, biscuit. Bye -bye. Yeah, KFC biscuit. <laughs> it's a plant-based Popeye chicken and veggie, so it is vegetarian, and you guys... I recommend this, even if you're not vegetarian, vegan, but uh, the brand is Alpha. I got this from a store called Kroger's. So if you don't have Kroger's, I'm sure you can find it elsewhere, but I wanna show you guys. Like it literally doesn't look that appetizing. Like I understand, but I promise you it's delicious. And if you worry about macros, there it is. Alrighty, so day 12, which is November 14th. So the weigh-in today was 506.6, which I'm shocked at such a large gain overnight because I did not binge. I did overeat though, but I do gain weight rather easily because of lymphedema. As you guys know, I was recently diagnosed with. You guys, it is officially that time of year. I have my little mini heater on my desk here. We do have a heater, but our windows are not insulated. Did you guys see what zombie walk by? Um, yeah, our windows are not insulated and we have a lot of windows. Feline tried to insulate them. She did really good. Let me tell you, this little fella right here actually works really well. And then also, always a little blanket. Where did we get this blanket from? Society 6. Society 6. It was over $100, but this blanket is massive and it's so cozy. What is happening? I'm just watching you. Are you going to help me? Yeah, I'm going to help you. Baby. Thanks. Thank you, baby. Oh. 
oh it smells like home do you guys know what that you guys know what that means like uh that like comforting smell yeah anyways hello <laughs> yes i'm in my bra but you know what we'll just call it a bikini for the time being so i'm in my dingy closet and i'm just putting my socks away because I did a little bit of a laundry moment. But I forgot to tell you guys my weigh-in. My weigh-in today was 506.4. So you have the photo here to see. And then, obviously, here it is in my little notebook. Actually, it's not a notebook. It's just a lined piece of paper. Actually, just the end of the night. I haven't really been, like, vlogging, vlogging lately. I don't want to vlog too much because Vlogmas is coming up. And I know that when I vlog a lot... Um, especially like daily, I get kind of burnt out because I don't like listening to myself <laughs> and talking so much and editing so much. So I don't want to get burnt out before Vlogmas because then it's like, okay, am I already putting myself in a position to fail? Nobody wants that. I was also cleaning out my closet a little bit. <laughs> I bought this off of An Amazon. For literally one video that I did. One video. And it was in my video for like three seconds. I was like. <laughs> queen of YouTube and shit. Oh my god. I look so tired. I am so tired. It's past my bedtime let me tell you. But. Yeah. Oh my god. My hair. Oh my god. Is definitely stuck in this. Eek. Oh no. Tell me that was a bad idea without telling me that was a bad idea. I'm just finding something to wear to bed. People keep saying, why do you have fake Louis? Girl, back in the day, I didn't have no money for some real Louis. Are you kidding? And now that I do, it's like, do I really want to spend $3,000 on a purse? I don't think I deserve it. So <laughs> I actually got this off a of wish. So it's been years that I've had fake Louis. I mean, five five years so <laughs> not saying I wouldn't buy it now wink wink okay you guys so I just cooked <laughs> I made roast beef carrots and mashed potatoes I'm a chef so I'm really like excited about it just kidding <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have heard of factor meals they slap because we got some when we were doing keto and they were so good. But now that we're not doing keto, we can get other kinds. So it's fresh, never frozen meals, chef prepared, dietitian approved, no prep, no mess. You heat and eat and it's America's number one ready to eat meal kit. So it has the calories, all of the nutrition you need um expiration date you know all of that this is the slow roasted brisket pot roast with baby carrots mashed potatoes and pearl onions let's give her a try so we're gonna taste test together mashed potatoes first slaps i don't know what that was i love roast beef Pulled, pulled pork, those type of things. So good. Now we're going to try the meat. Oh, that's so good. You want to try, babe? No. No? I had my factor earlier. I'm going to try a carrot. I'm going to do a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> These meals are so worth it. We got 10 meals for how much? Like a hundred? 122. $122 for 10 meals. Like 11 to $12 per meal. Which isn't bad because like Felina and I can order takeout and it'll cost us $70 for just one meal. So 
Mm. And then when you plate it, it's just, I don't know. I want to take a bite of everything together. Okay. So we have mashed taters, the meat, a pearled onion, carrot. Let's go for it. So good. Only 550 calories too. And no, this is not sponsored. I wish. Okay, you guys. So it is time for my weigh-in. Today is day 14. I weighed in at 506.8. So three days in a row, I did not binge. I'm actually really freaking happy about that. Gotta admit. But I did overeat, which is frustrating. So what I wanted to do every 10 days, I know we're on day 14, but I did just think of doing this, is every 10 days, because these are literally pretty much my only things that I do when I'm on track, I'll either do calories or intuitive eating. And then when I'm off track, I'll overeat or binge. So every 10 days, I want to see how many times I do each of these things. So Days 1 through 10, I counted my calories no times. I intuitive ate three times. I overate two times, and I binged five times. So I was only on track 30% of the time in the first 10 days, and I was off track for 70% of the time. So I think this is going to be a good indicator for me to look at so I can see it more like in my face because you know the next 10 days I would love to have my binging down to three or even less than that and I don't know this is also a part of the 100 days that I would like to share with you guys so I wanted to show you guys I have completed my globe and obviously the earth and you turn this little bit and it spins the last bit took me so long because I was dreading being done because I wanted it to last, as you guys know. But I figured, let's finish it up. For those who like the art moments, um, I want to give you an update on my art. So you guys have seen this one. Seen this one. But these are just for the people who haven't seen them because I know some of you don't watch like every single one of my videos, obviously. I love this one. And then I don't think I showed you guys this one. So this is the heart one. It's okay. It's giving me very 90s like you're in elementary school or something. <laughs> and then I did that one, which I love the color scheme on that one. This one's kind of lame, but it's just fun. And then this one, kind of obsessed. And then, so the next ones I'm about to show you is kind of like sentimental. When I was like really young living with my parents and traumatic things were happening, um, my grandma, who I love dearly but is no longer with us, she would try to protect me from all that and distract me in the best way that she knew how. So she would take a piece of paper. This was like when I was literally five. She would take a piece of paper and like squiggle all over it and then have me color it. So I was just kind of thinking of her. So I decided to do it. Um, so I did this one. I squiggled that. And then I asked Feline, I was like, will you squiggle so I can color? <laughs> so she squiggled this one. Um, so that's my art update. Okay, we are about to put the globe on my bookshelf. These are containers because I was going through my uh, hallway closet, which is right here, because I wanted to go through like Christmas stuff. So like I knew which ones were bins and which ones weren't, so. Riddles. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go get my globe. Okay. Guess we can set it right here. I actually think it's time to get rid of this mirror because I also have two other ones which are in my bedroom. But truth is, I don't really need this one. But here's the globey. I don't really know how I feel about it, but yeah. I might actually put my books down here because they're currently on the entertainment center in my bedroom, but we're gonna get a new entertainment center, which I'm super excited about, so. This is still my favorite Lego I've ever done. Nintendo. Even a controller. Yep, I 
built this and I love it. <laughs>